Assalamu alaikum. Have a great day. Welcome to Financial Management Learning. Today's topic is Innovation in Accounting Using AI to Connect the Dots. Exploring the future of accounting for the present and next generation. Let us start. Did you know that a diversion of accounting tab could be automated by 2030? And as for the AICBA, 75% of accountants are said to return in the next 15 years being an accountant. What does this mean for your future career? We'll discuss modern accounting rather well in accounting, how ways transform traditional roles, emerging accounting career, skills needed for the next generation accountant, and preparing for an year to arrive at a future. Let's see a popular video. If you're watching this, you're among the 3% of people that understand that the future of work is going to look very different from what it is now. So keep watching. Let's see where we're heading. It's also exciting, right? Siri will recognize your voice even if you're five meters away from your phone. That new chatbot feels totally real. Self-driving cars are no longer fiction. You can analyze your DNA. You tried flying that drone for the first time and you're thinking of buying a smart speaker to make your life so much easier. And that's something like three years, not 30. Artificial intelligence, robotics, machine learning, mass 3D printing, biotechnology, chatbots, virtual reality, deep learning, drones, augmented reality, smart objects will all be deeply enrooted in our everyday day lives. Just like computers, phones, or electricity are for us today. Oh well, is this really gonna happen? And if it does, you'll adapt when the time comes, right? Life is good. You love your job. You've been working for this established company for a few years. You're comfortable in your position. You know what you're good at. People like you. And that last presentation you gave got you some amazing reactions. You're safe with your company. In the meantime, you see an article or two speculating on the future of jobs. McKinsey published a report stating that 45% of all current tasks could be automated with present technology. The World Economic Forum estimates that 33% of jobs in 2020 don't even exist yet. But what do they know, right? You've got time. Oh look, the supermarket just introduced self-cashier machine. You're at the airport checking in luggage. What the heck happened to all the real people at the check-in desk? Gone. Replaced by machines. But it's only the low-skilled jobs, right? Nope. Think again. In 2012, there were 150,000 humans working on Wall Street. Three years later, automation has cut that number down to 100,000. That's one third gone. But it's only the mathematical and scientific jobs, right? Nope. Think again. This Japanese insurance company, Fukuoka Mutual Life Insurance, is already replacing all its human insurance claim workers with an AI system that will handle customers more efficiently. See these articles? They're written by algorithms. And we can't tell the difference with human written content. And thinking of converting yourself to being an online poker player? Too late. There's an AI that can already beat humans at it. Most journalists, tax consultants, marketeers, technicians, knowledge workers, lawyers, even the person editing this video right now will to some extent have been impacted or automated by technology in a couple of years. And what have you been doing? Probably watching Netflix. And the problem is, the machines don't wait. And the machines, they don't watch Netflix. So what are the forces at play here? Basically, there's 10 million developers out there using increasingly simple and cheap technology to build new products and services. Some as young as 12 are already coding the future. Even that safe company you work for is increasingly under outside threat. And it's not just the Google, Amazon, Facebooks, and Apples of the world that I'm talking about. There are now tens of thousands of startups out there eating away at all sorts of jobs. Now, are they creating many jobs in the process? Let's look at some stats. Travel a bunch of years back to when Kodak ruled the world of photography. They were worth 38 billion and employed 140,000 people. That's approximately $270,000 per employee. Our people work with pride to make Kodak a creative and innovative company. Fast forward to recent times, YouTube sold for 1.65 billion with a mere 65 employees. That's $25 million per employee. Instagram, which had 13 employees and was sold for $1 billion. That's $77 million per employee. WhatsApp sold for 19 billion with 55 employees. That's a staggering 345 million per employee. So how is this all possible? Technology has allowed the emergence of what we call exponential organizations. These are exponentially fast growing companies that leverage technology and require less employees, but more tech savvy ones. You will find that we are technology optimists. We believe that technology is a major driver of change in the world. And as software continues to eat up the world, more companies are trying to replicate these exponential companies. Hire less people, but grow exponentially through technology. As this happens, job roles are slowly disappearing and being replaced by skill sets. 
Employers require you to know an ever-growing number of new and ever-changing fundamental skills in order to use the technologies they've implemented. Master the fundamentals and you can master the rest. A digital skills gap is growing for both mid-skill and high-skill level jobs. Before you know it, you've become irrelevant. But wait, what's this doomsday message? There's actually a way to leverage technology before it leverages you. And in fact, it's never been easier to do so. This might sound kind of corny, but it starts with the right state of mind. It starts with having a growth mindset, where you have the desire and the confidence that you can learn anything. Shift your thinking on how these technologies will rattle and mutate, but enrich your work life. Because yes, if you play your cards right, technology will make your work life and your life in general much, much better. The fact is that technology will actually remove boring repetitive jobs from your way, but only if you understand the fundamentals. And you have no excuse not to do so. How can you stay relevant if you can't talk the lingo? How can you stay relevant if you can't execute? Can you talk tech? Can you talk APIs? Can you talk code? Can you talk data? While slow educational institutions are struggling to keep up, that's not an excuse. Train yourself. Take your education in your own hands. Learn to code. Learn about behavioral psychology, automation tools, playing with data, user experiences. Be curious. And if you're an employer, train your people. Online and offline courses have never been more readily available or rich in content. It's time to build something. Your greatest credential in this new era is your output of stuff. Proof of your awesomeness. A website, a blog, a prototype, a simple data model. It's time to build cool stuff and showcase it. It's time to start learning. So, we have seen AI is transforming corporate accounting with powerful tools that enhance data processing and decision-making capabilities. The changing phase of accounting through data collection. So now the accounting is no longer just about bookkeeping and compliance. Technology is reshaping the profession through the AI, blockchain technology, big data analysis, etc. Future accountants must be strategic advisors, not only for the Accountant, but AI won't replace accountants. Accountants who use AI will replace those who don't. AI in accounting, AI automated repetitive tasks, for example, data entry, invoice processing, and others. Machine learning detect fraud and anomalies. Predictive analytics improves financial forecasting. What tool are you using? AI tools, automated bookkeeping through the QuickBook AI. A smart reconciliation. Through the Jiro and Sanga, risk assessment through the KPMG AI audit tools. How many of you have already used? and AI-powered accounting tools. AI frees accountants to focus on a strategy, advisory, and decision-making. That's the traditional role, data analyst, officer or analyst, tax preparer or practitioner, auditor, financial reporting, that AI enabled roles are from the data analyst, now the AI data analyst, from the tax practitioner, now the AI tax strategist, auditor, now the AI fraud detective, financial Financial reporting is the proactive analyst. So this way, traditional role transform AI enabled role. Different types of roles of accountant at this moment. For example, AI accounting specialist who works with AI tools to optimize financial process. Blockchain auditor that ensure transparency in crypto and decentralized finance. Sustainability accountant tracks and report ESC. An IFRS is one, IFRS is two, matrix, financial automation consultant, it helps firms or organizations transition to I drive an accounting, forensic data analyst that use AI to detect financial crimes and cyber fraud. So which of these careers excites you the most? And if we see the skills needs for the next generation accountant, uh, some are technical skills that AI and data analysis, blockchain basis, cloud accounting, etc. And if you see the soft skills you need, critical thinking, business advisory, and overall ethical judgment is required. That type of skills for the accountant. As per what said, eighty-seven percent of accounting firms now seek professionals with AI 
literacy. So think about it. Start today. Explore one AI accounting tools and are preparing for an AI driven future. Steps to stay ahead. Learn AI and data tools. Gain industry certification. CSCPS, CMSC, SAS, CFA, plus AI specialization. Network with tech savvy professionals. Internet farms. Using AI accounting. Connecting the dog. How we would be able to connect the dog? First of all, we have to achieve a professional qualification. You could do anything. CA, CMA, CISA, Chartered Accountant from the England and Wales, CPA, CIPA, CIMA, CFA, SCCA, all of the professional qualification. Being an accountant, you may acquire one qualification. You need a qualification. And after that, you have to connect your dot with the AI. You can use the Gemini, Gipsche, Chat GPT, Canva, more and more. So this way, you have to connect to your dog for your survival, for professional survival. For research and data, you can use this one. For autonomous invoice process, for demand disclosure, for the regulatory and compliance, for the ERP integration, for the ERP integration, you can use AI for financial advisors, for tax compliance, for work collaboration, for entrepreneur and founders, for offshore outsourcing accounting. You can also use AI for auditing, for financial fraud detecting, you can use AI. So that type of AI you use, it will help you to professionally solve your problems, your day-to-day -day activities, and that will lead you to achieving your future goal. The lot of AI is waiting for you. But use it for your day-to-day -day activities, for problem solving, for use it for regular activities, use it for your business activities. So connect your dot. So we are, now we are in comfort zone. If we want success in our life, we have to overcome the fear zone, learning zone, and growth zone, then we will be able to succeed. So don't forget, don't stay in the comfort zone. The future is yours. You know, A is not a threat, but an opportunity for accountants. The profession is evolving, adapt, and thrive. You have the chance to pioneer new accounting frontiers. You know, the Pika Dukat says, the best way to predict the future is to create it. So connect the dot, use the why, use the AI, achieve your goal. Thank you.